So here we are here. The first thing we want to highlight is our comparison of the last piece from the last series, which is Buddha's breath. And the first piece from this current series, which is called Returning. And our observations are that <clears throat> returning from this series and Buddha breath are closely related. We have push and pull lines, bassoon and uh, contrabass and one, and bassoon and uh, mezzo-soprano, and the use of a lot of arpeggiation, da-da-da-da-da-da. But comparing them, we feel a real build in our expressive shaping. Um, the dynamics are more balanced in returning. Fast parts are smoothly embedded and not kind of banging on our ears. The push-pull voices are more distinct and complementary. Uh, the beat has two parts that syncopate, which is the uh, snare plus the ba bum ba -ba bum the timpani. And then we adding the gamma cause have really extended things. So we see a lot of growth. Similarly, in the last stream, we took a piece called Lilt from two series ago, updated it to something called Buddha's Lilt, and it also sounds, has a lot more depth and uh, breadth and shaping and whatnot. So it's very reassuring <clears throat> that we can see, sometimes you can't see whether you're making progress or not until you kind of compare things further back till now especially when you're unsure about what you're doing. We are composing in motion and still making up what that means. Um, so so we, should, we highlighted that. Um, now, what else did we re-enter? Um, we updated our visual animation of returning, and this is now what it looks like. Let's show this off a little bit. And uh, what we call the push-pull lines, we had to make them a little bit more uh, visible. They were hidden. The ditto the syncopated. Now they're quite visible. And then we had a kind of a major insight to make the bottom and the top play the same part, which is what we call the fast part of, of the score. Okay, all of these parts. We have the push line the pull line, the ground line, the fast layer, the syncopated layer, and the slow layer. That's six parts. And all of them are now represented visually. Uh, the push plus the pull, the syncopated, there's three. The fast line is, is mirror reflected, which is four. And then we've managed to get um, two things uh, happening here, the ground and the slow. Um, This line here is actually doing two things at once. It's pulsing in intensity to the slow, and it's coming up and down based on the volume of the ground. And when you get it all together, it's, it's just really cool. Plus, it's visually cool. We're thinking of it as a, a music pipeline. There's uh, the upper and lower purple are the edges of the pipe, and then the red and the rainbow colors 
smooshing out or the musical water going through the pipe and it's coming from that strange vertical red line that's the source of everything in the middle so we got that uh, worked out and we had to we had to render it several times until it was looking right in the full uh, the full movie version because each of these you really have to we noticed this uh, after the last stream that until you look at the at the highly like this was the old version that we showed you yes that we worked on yesterday and we've it wasn't actually it wasn't what we showed yesterday it was one that we it's a test rendering from today and we felt that these the purple edges were too strong so then we decided to fiddle with it. <laughs> and you, they're not as bright, and they're kept back into the purple range, and there's a little more room in the middle for the, the, the music water to flow left and right. So anyway, it, we took several test renderings for, for, to get that settled down, which was our point. In visual animation, the rendering tests really help. And finally, we've been, we, we kind of had an entry re -ha, aha point. We've been thinking of our compositions as self contained arcs with sub arcs that stand alone. A case in point, of course, is like the, the Buddhist breath. It's got a lyric to it, and, you know, it has uh, arc one, forgive, and arc two, whatever we called it. You know, so there's these sub arcs and arcs. But now, as of yesterday's work, we're seeing that our compositions can be blended with other media, such as a presenter's a presenter video or uh, a slideshow, that comes back and impacts how we design things, and in particular, and it gives us a whole new perspective to to express. And um, in particular, returning, which we've spent a lot of time on, and come to uh, just really really like this. It's such a texture, but we can't argue that it's telling a story so much. It's got cycle one and cycle two and whatever the story is. I don't know what we call it, returning. And we, based on our work with Buddha's Lil, hey, you know what? This could be used as an accompaniment to some kind of media. So that's what we did. We had uh, some slides that we spent a lot of time on, getting them ready for production use and there's uh, 40 of them here and we learned how to put them in a slideshow using vegas edit and uh, put the music track and what we had to do is take returning and cut it into the cycle one cycle two and then be able to repeat it twice so this is what we now have uh, here fades in And there's no attempt whatsoever to synchronize the music parts with the slide parts. We're not doing that. The star of this show is the slides, which are dense and information rich. And um, our goal is to post this as a video where people just stop, pause, read, play, move on ahead. It's only uh, 150, what is that, three minutes, two minutes, um, two and a half minutes. Da -da -da -da. 226 seconds yeah three minutes a little over three minutes so 40 slides is an awful lot to digest so they're going to skim through a lot of it but then the ones that get interested in you say aha what is this about and then pause it and then play it so the music has been ramped way down we brought it way down here to like minus uh, minus two or minus 18 or whatever so we did all that now <laughs> uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and play this animation for you again um, uh, just the last part of it because you've heard this piece a lot but we do like how it turned out and we'll just go ahead and finish it up for you here we go
So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to continue working with, uh, no, not that part, this part. Post the work we've done to date and carry forward some other ideas. We, we have more ideas uh, like horizontal movement in the animations. Um, we do have more media that we could work with. And then, uh, Lord help us, we got to thinking, you know what? We could go back to Buddha's breath and shape it a little bit further. So, and, and a good old friend to be determined. So shout outs to Johnny Beats for stopping by. Thanks, Johnny. And Miss Cleo stopped by today. We appreciate it. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.